keep screaming into that void, Night City. Sooner or later, someone's gonna hear. Oh, interesting. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need, and I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch! You know what? Screw Rogue. Can't see why you even care. Cause I need the money. Don't let her push you around. She's not the only fixer in town. Yet you're only here because she's sent you. But I'm not the one bitching about her. You don't know her. Not at all. Did she tell you she was the one to bring me and Nash together? Did she tell you it slipped her mind to mention Nash was Raff and Shiv? I'd not have known that side of them. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. You look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm. Who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear. Then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. 
Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Pan Am! You'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Haven't been so lucky. I see. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful.
Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? I got nada. You have an epiphany? The Raffins will roll in after dusk, right? We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. So we plug it back in. Let's check the substation. You got it. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the black rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am.
which gear's got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. <sighs> now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. Starts now. Let there be light. Grab the car shop. For the girl with the mohawk. Colorful bunch. I've been made. I'll take the wheel. Sure, sure. Leave the driving to the pros. isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V. It's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. So it was about vengeance. The whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is Just course. listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Alright, so where is this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alta Caldos. After I came to Night City. 
and I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. I had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him.
Hello, Rogue. Can am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! Let's get out of here. Bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Panna! How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> You got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped. Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seemed worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valaparadol. 
drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here, just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Good idea. Let's do it. Noah, we'll take two rooms, just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. See you later. Yes. What are you carrying? Firearms. Best in all the Badlands. In the suspension. The hydraulics have to be ship shape. We're in for a bumpy ride. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. 
come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A Satwave power station. Power station? Wait. You want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV system. The drive. Nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Well, wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple of generations back, at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. 
I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a Corpo power station. Jump a Corpo transport. Kidnap a Corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word Corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. AAA. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost had me believe in just that. You're too much sometimes, V. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in. Fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Ah, 
Shit! Think we might have overdone it, Pan Am. Do you see that? All lit up and blinking like a Christmas tree. Girl, you train. wanted 11. You got 11. Fuck yeah! Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chest. Thanks for the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on my mean, best hand. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny? Fucking hell. Okay, I'm fine. It's... it's okay, just... it's okay, I'm fine, yeah. Just... delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal. Then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. I think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's, What's going happening? on? Fan fucking tastic. Fan fucking tastic. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. NM, what are you doing? That's how you do it. It's losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. We got it. No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Over. AV. Unmarked. Losing out. Mitch! There. Scorpion! What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am! Don't go near that AV! I repeat, do not approach the AV! Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors. Without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering. Shit! Radar. Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mission Scorpion. Nothing. 
I'm fine. Okay. For the time being, at least. missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connected to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Alticaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... No, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Oh, no, no, no. I'm... I'm sorry. Your clan? Alta Caldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they... Don't worry, we don't know for sure. Mitch! He's alive! They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Got five Kangs on patrol. Damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car, No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. And we'll try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Oh, 
That's clear. I'm coming for you. Open the door. I'll cover you. Now! Step back! Back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons, now! Easy now. Not too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup! Bullshit! Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? Damn, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. 
They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything, see anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going, before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your helmet. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. <laughs> oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys are here. Let's follow. Find them. That well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd have enough in the city, we would stock up my can and kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and the world. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. Shit. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look. All I see is cracked concrete and rust. They thought they would call their friends. They were in for one hell of a surprise. What? Oh, yeah! Quite the fireworks show. Fire! Fire! Wipe them out, V! to take an helmet with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. That's one of our... one of their rides. Let's check it. Don't know if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Fast. <laughs> Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. 
They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope Mitch contacted the Alder Caldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Pan Am. Pull in everyone else after me. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Luffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. See cars. The best nomad. Mm -hmm. I recognize no them. No soon enough. You. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're Nobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rats got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. 
Shut him up. Don't already. take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Like your new chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder colonies. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're an Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? I think that's it. Until next time. They're coming. You got a minute. Let's move. Until next time. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours now. What is this place? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, 
And you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand. Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it for Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Cause I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. Me? Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. We did not give you even a glass of water. <coughs> See that? Acceptable. Fuck me. Just Easy look at man. that. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will keep Ugh. the full bucket. No, uh, no need. Sons of bitches. 
Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog. A replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you- but You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me, fuck me over. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually align pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits. Broken dreams and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day.